English is the most universal language in the world and continues to grow day by day. It's in the music we hear, in the movies we watch, and in international trade. Countries such as Ukraine, China, and Germany are all countries that are pushing to learn English on top of their own language. There are currently 6,000 languages in the world, and by the end of the century, it's predicted that it would drop down to 200 languages. There are so many benefits to learning another language. It has helped me get a job, improves my mental, or improved my mental capacity, and it is overall just fun and easy to learn. My name is Michaela, and I'm here to convince you why you should learn another language. The first reason I said was that it helped me get a job. Two summers ago, I applied for an internship at a local hospital, and in that internship process, it was treated just like a job, and I ended up getting the job because I knew another language. I'm Russian and Ukrainian, so technically I know two languages. Um, and it's not only helpful for a hospital job, but it's also helpful in the business aspect. Because if you know another language, then you can reach a more diverse group of people, and it just uh, attracts more people towards you. The second reason is that it helps you mentally. It is said that people that know another language have, are better at multitasking and also have a better mental uh, aptitude. In situations when one has to switch from one language to another, the mind has to figure out how to translate it properly. So I have two examples of this. In Russian, you'd say, that means what do you lose? Что means what, тебя means you, and lose. So technically that says what you lose word for word. So because I've known Russian for so long, I can easily translate it uh, to proper grammar English. Another example would be, which is, I love you or I you love. Because I know, again, because I know Russian for so long, I can easily translate it properly. Розы красные, покров тоже. Ты смотришь как пиндяк. Ты живешь в зоопарк. Не надо знать, я тоже там буду. Не клетки, мы смеемся тебя. This translates to, Roses are red, your blood is too. You look like a monkey and belong in the zoo. Do not worry, I'll be there too. Not in the cage, but laughing at you. This is one of the examples where I can say something, you guys think I'm being serious, but I'm being completely like joking around. What's helpful with my with knowing Russian is that if someone walks by and I want to say something, and I want to say it in English, I can say it in Russian and no one knows what I'm talking about, which is really nice. So that goes with my point that languages are super fun and, uh, to use, and knowing that I can say something like that without other people knowing makes it also fun to learn. This has also helped me if I wanted to say, say grace. You guys probably could think that I say she's a terrible person, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, I said she's the most beautiful girl in this room. <laughs> <laughs> so I could say like things like that and you wouldn't know what I just say, which is super nice and convenient in situations like that. So now you may be wondering how you could learn another language. There are so many resources. You can go find a tutor, you can go to a library, um, rent a book, buy a book online. Um, there's so many free apps, websites, uh, such as some of the websites that are out there that are free of use are Duolingo and Memrise. I can attain to using Duo Duolingo and Memrise both because my dad learned Spanish in just under two years using one of the app, one Memrise specifically. And today I challenge all of you to find one of these resources and go and learn another language. Thank you. <laughs> and that's because there's not a thing there. I'm just trying to jam it into the end of my computer. Okay, so you can't use the clicker. Because I gotta plug it in the clicker. <clears throat>